freaking workout. I don't know if I'm gonna make it another two miles. Probably should have aired that tire up. Two very boring minutes later. On the road again. And the Fummins really has seen better days. What's up guys? It's Cullen here with Up North Outdoors. Welcome to the second channel, Up North Outdoors builds or projects. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be called, but basically <laughs> I've been gone for a while, but we can talk about that later. I don't wanna bore you guys. Um, but you can see we got a new shop. <laughs> Things are gonna be getting done in here. Well, getting her thawed. Got Brandon here working on his conversion van. So basically what this channel is for is we're gonna keep Up North Outdoors content to basically the fun, enjoyable stuff that everyone likes to watch. Uh, but I know there's a lot of you guys that really like watching the details, the, you know, the nitty gritty fixing things on the Fummins, you know, working on the projects. Hey, how do I replace these rear brakes? How do I swap out this fuel tank? Uh, so this channel is gonna be more of the old vlog style videos that I've always done on my channel of doing builds, working on projects, showing you step-by-step step how I'm doing things. So that's what this channel is gonna be because I don't wanna get rid of that, uh, but I know it's boring for some people that just wanna watch the main channel for entertainment. So this channel is probably gonna be it's not gonna be consistently posted on here, but it's gonna be probably one to one to once we get into the prime, one to four videos a week, probably posted on this channel. Uh, they're not gonna be as edited, as crazy. Basically, Marae's probably gonna pump these videos out. Um, they're gonna kind of follow along with the main videos. So you guys probably coming from here, just watch the main video where we got the Fummins running and are having some fun with it, hopefully. Uh, and this is showing the behind the scenes of getting it getting it going. Uh, yeah, so let's let's get to work. We also got Brandon here. He's working on an Overland uh, van build. He got an all-wheel drive Astro van. He's starting to gut that thing, so they will peek in there too. But today, I'm start getting the fun. It's going. But this shop is just absolutely massive. This used to be a dirt floor. You guys have probably seen me here before. And if you're from the main channel, have watched some of the videos we've done. It used to be a dirt floor horse barn in here, um, and we actually. Just got this finished up. This is my grandpa's barn. Uh, we poured a slab in here, insulated it, did hidden roofing on it. Uh, and we have a ton of space in here. We're gonna have a car lift actually going in to the back, which is gonna be insane. Um, and we're gonna be taking out every other one of these posts and putting some steel supports on so we can actually pull vehicles in, like parking, and really be able to fit a lot of vehicles in here and work on projects. Right now we kind of got stuff just all over. The boat and things like that are gonna be getting out here eventually. Uh, but yeah, tons and tons of space to work, finally. Well, I don't wanna get too much into the shop. What I'll probably do is do a second video on this channel, just going over the shop for those of you guys that are interested in that, showing you what we've done, and then I'll, I'll probably do a detailed 
explanation of what the future plans are for it, how we're gonna have things set up, uh, and how it's really gonna help the channel. It's gonna be pretty sweet. But, Fummins, so, this chunk's been sitting for way too long, uh, and I've been gone for way too long, and basically what I wanna do is get this thing going before I come back on the main channel, which I'm back, I guess, but if you're seeing this. <laughs> One of the big things is this last spring, we've gotten this, or fall, we got this thing running a few times, but it just runs. It'll run for a good, uh, I've gotten it to run for like 20 minutes, but it just, it has, it's choking for fuel. It's being starved for fuel. I bled air out of the injectors like 12 times. Uh, I know there's no air in the system, or if there is, leading the injectors isn't enough to fix it. Um, and what I did, the last thing I did is I popped open and looked into my fuel tank and it was just goopy. It was gelled up. It was, I think the diesel's actually breaking down because I had diesel just sitting here for so long that it was never being used. Um, and it was almost syrupy, chunky. Um, this, I think the fuel in this thing is junk. So what I'm gonna do to try first before I start tearing into like my injection pump and things like that is I picked up one of these pumps Fortunately, or unfortunately, maybe, we got a Harbor Freight in town. I live in a pretty small town and got a Harbor Freight now, so I picked this thing up for like 140 bucks, I think. We'll use it a lot, I think. Uh, but basically, it's just a manual pump where you can just pump out, pump out or pump in things like oil. Normally, it's used for like oil that's hard to get place oil changes. Uh, you can do brake fluid with it, uh, but today we're gonna be pumping out diesel fuel with it. Hopefully it'll work and I can get all the fuel out of here and then try to get my tank clean. So this is actually the original gas tank from, well, both of these tanks are the original tanks when this truck was actually a gas truck. If you guys are new to this channel, this is a 1996 F-250 that I had a 12 valve Cummins swap that used to have a 351 Windsor in it actually. Uh, we did a Dana 60 swap on it as well. And these are, we basically just sucked out all these tanks, cleaned them. I guess I installed this new tank, I think when I did the swap. But uh, yeah, both of these tanks, I think was basically used to have gas gasoline in them, but a diesel tank and a gas tank is the exact same thing. It just depends on what you put in it. So if this is a gas truck, this is normally where your fuel pump is but this is this is where you get your fuel out of your vehicle um the way to access this is is there's a little ring on here you can kind of see there's little nubs on here basically what you do is you just want to stick a screwdriver on there hit the back with the hammer twist that ring over and then it can pop pop right out oh wait the bottom does though that's what just the ring Look, out, look at that. That's what it's been picking up and trying to stick in my fuel lines. So what I did is I put fresh fuel in here when I was trying to get it started. So a lot of stuff on the top is good, but there's so many, there's so much debris on the bottom of this tank I see that I think that thing's trying to pick up and then get in my pumps and my injectors and everything. That definitely could be a reason why I'm having issues. So I didn't bring any tanks to pump the fuel into, but all the fuel on the top is good. That's fresh fuel I put in the Cummins a couple months ago. It's the nastiness on the bottom I'm trying to get you to clean. So I think I should be fine and just pump this into my truck. <laughs> Cause I don't have anywhere else to put it. Oh. Okay. Thank you Harbor Freight. Still leaking everywhere? Oh, yeah. Do you have a funnel? I think you could just unscrew this and. Oh, yeah! Alright, well, we're gonna keep doing this. And repeat. Well, we've done this twice now. We're starting to get down there a little bit, but this is gonna take longer than I expected. Alright, about. Seven trips later, back and forth, maybe six. I think we're down to probably our last one here. So we got like dumb on the bottom. That's just all being sucked right up with that. So there's still some fuel in there, but it stopped sucking. And would you look at that? The tip is all full of gunk. So that's the same thing that's happening to my 
my fuel lines probably, or at least is hot happening at the bottom of this pickup. You got all these tiny little holes. I gotta find something to soak this in. Um, Cause that's just diesel syrup right there. Absolute diesel syrup. Is that nasty? Yeah, this goop is the same stuff. It's probably gunking up my whole fuel system. Cause that, look at how thick that is. It's almost as thick as like caramel. Super thick goop. And that's all being sucked up off the bottom. Probably getting in my, my whole system. So after I get this tank cleaned out, figure out a way to, I figure out a way to clean this out once I get everything out of it. Um, I'm gonna have to get some really good diesel cleaner to try to run run through my whole system. Um, try to clean that because that gunk is probably in my injector, it's probably in my my P pump, probably in everything, and it's probably I guarantee you that this has got to be the cause of my engine choking out and acting like it's starving for fuel. Then it even got stuck open for a while too, where it was throttling super high. And I'm sure it's the same thing. I'm sure everything is just so gunked. But yeah, that's that's where the car lift is going, right there where the Humvee is. And we got plenty of ceiling space. Where we'll even be able to lift up the foam ends. And this thing's on 10 inches of lift in 40s. All right, we got basically all the fuel out of the tank. And it's, yeah, just loaded with gunk on the bottom. So I think it's definitely our issue. Um, I just kind of got to decide exactly how I want to <clears throat> clean the rest of the tank now. What I'm thinking is, I don't want to do it, but I'll probably what I'm going to do is probably pull the tank. It's a lot easier to do right now with the box off, obviously. I just have to pull the straps off the top and bottom and then probably realistically get some of that diesel detergent and we got a hose in here. Hose the thing out super good, let it air dry, and then uh, put, soak the end of the picker upper there and some diesel detergent but we'll figure it out in the next episode thanks for watching guys we got some stuff done today we got the fummins pulled out and we got the tank sucked out so making progress see you in the next part brandon got his camper van opened up heck yeah oh, little frick nasty Yes.